Hi, Stan Panko here, stanpanko.com. Great Saturday morning, uh, just finishing my cup of coffee, so bear with me for a moment. And I'd like to bring you a, a tip that I've learned, that I've experienced in my bu businesses. Do you ever get stuck in your business or feel like you're completely stuck and overwhelmed with way too much to do? Uh, many of us have, and I've found a way that has worked well for me in overcoming that. As many of you know, I'm an architect, have an architectural business that's been very successful for many years. And a few years ago, I found myself totally bogged down, overwhelmed, dealing with emails, and all the little stuff that, that gets in your way of doing what you do best. So, I took some drastic action. I literally took the computer off my desk. I delegated everything having to do with emails um, to my secretary. All of the other drafting and design work that's done on the computer is delegated to others in the office. And I'm just a conceptual person that works with the clients. Um, and I found that worked really, really well. With my secretary, she filters out all the emails. Uh, she will literally give me a, uh, I'll sit down with her and she'll have a hard copy of, of the emails that came through that morning. Um, and I will dictate responses to her for each one. Um, I'll do that a couple times a day and it's done. Literally in 15, 20 minutes, that's all taken care of what before it took me to two or three hours. So now, um, my architectural business is down to three, four hours a day. And, and I did better last year than I ever have before. So a lot to say for that. You need to focus on what you do best. So I, I have a home-based business as well that I do by myself. I express my frustration to my uh, business consultant that I met with yesterday. And she said, Look, at, you need to do the same thing as you do in your architectural firm. You need to get a virtual assistant to do all that work. She said, you need to get two pieces of paper. On one piece of paper, you list down three things that you do best that bring in the money, that bring in the clients, that sell your products or whatever. On the other piece of paper, list all the other tasks that you do. Um, from bookkeeping, whatever, all the way through, list all those tasks, and then at that point you go out and get a virtual assistant to help you take care of all the rest of that. Wow, light bulb goes off. Yeah, that's what I'm doing in my architectural business, so why not do it elsewhere too? So there's Odesk. Uh, which is right down here in Redwood City, California. Um, there's Elance, which I believe is out of uh, Henderson, Nevada. Um, and there's international virtual consultants or virtual assistants that you can Google and look up. And there's numerous other ones internationally that will help you deal with your home-based business. Now, you will need to learn how to properly uh, explain your tasks um, and how you want them done to your virtual assistant. Um, and if you, you will find on the internet, there's tutorials that will tell you how to do that. So take my advice. If you're feeling overwhelmed and bogged down, get yourself a virtual assistant so you can get up to the next level. So if you've enjoyed my little story today, please comment below. Give me your opinion if you have other ideas as to how to solve this problem of being overwhelmed and too much to do. Um, and feel free to share this video. And we'll see you again on the next video. Have a great, great day.